How's it going everyone? I've got some more Disney's Twisted Wonderland metal card collection boxes here. So this is actually collection four and collection five. I'm gonna split it into two different videos. We're gonna focus on collection four at this point. If you haven't seen my videos before on this, I have covered collection one, two, and three. So check those out if you haven't seen these ones, but let's jump into this one right now. So this is Metal Car Collection set four of Disney's Twisted Wonderland. And this is now using a different theme from what we had seen in one, two, and three. So one was regular theme, two was science, and the third one was like a wizardy type of thing. I might have mixed up two and three. And now this one, they're using, I guess, posh kind of school uniform kind of look. I think I'm guessing it looks like a posh school uniform. So this is a different kind of theme that we're going with here. But again, it's focusing on a lot of the kind of main characters or dorm leaders from Disney's Twisted Wonderland. So you get 26 cars to collect in this particular set. You get 20 packs in this box. Each pack contains two cards plus the checklist card as well. I believe this is probably going to be a full pack of 26 or a full set of 26 plus the duplicates, which is the case of the previous sets as well. So we should get every single card, I think. So here's another kind of shot character select screen of some Disney Twisted Wonderland characters here. So looking pretty good there. I love the designs of this theme or this particular kind of um, property, Disney Twisted Wonderland, designed by the same person that worked on Black Butler. So if you recognize this, that's probably why. So this is pretty cool. I've not actually played Disney's Disney. I'm not actually played Disney's Twisted Wonderland because it is a Japan only game, which is a shame. I do hope that they release an English version of the game. But that said, they are releasing a Japanese anime on Disney um, Plus. I think it is uh, in Japan. I think next year or some point in the future. So obviously there'll be translations for that. So that's going to be pretty good. I haven't read too much on the characters or things like that just because I kind of want to experience most of it. Kind of by playing the game watching the anime so yeah i only know what i knew from last time i don't know anything extra so let's carry on opening this kind of pack as i mentioned early on this is 20 packs that you get 10 on each side i guess let's take off all the packs and then we'll get into opening them so for anyone that's new and hasn't watched collection one two and three these are not truly metal cards let's say they're, they're metal in terms of um, the wafer metal. These are wafer metal cards. So that means they're very thin. They're basically like plastic almost. So here's the packaging artwork of the actual booster pack itself. So you've got the same cover art here and then the back is like so. Nice kind of black and gold colorway going on with the packaging. But let's get into opening them. Now this one, I actually don't know if this expansion is all character portraits and the super deformed or chibi look. Or if it's just going to be something new, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this one. So I'm going to have to brace myself for a mess of packs in the in the second as well. So we get the check lane or checklist card. Sorry, so we'll go through the actual cards in a bit. So yeah, 26 cards to collect. You do get SD forms as well that we need to collect as well. But hopefully, an entire box will make a complete set anyway. So if you can read Japanese, pause it there, and I'll let you read it for now. I'm going to put that to the side. Let's see what's in the first pack then. So you've got a nice shiny card. All of these cards are pretty much shiny, by the way. Kind of have a metal, metallic-ish finish to them as well. With that kind of speckles you can see in the background. I'm going to have a lot of reflection again. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is going to use Azul. And I forgot the guy's name already. Is it Jade? And I can't remember his name. Twins, basically. So that's cool. These guys are of the Octavinel. Octavinel. I'm saying it properly now. Octavinel Dormitory Group. So Disney's Twisted One Land is all about having different dorms. And you pick one of those, I believe it is. So this is a reverse side. The reverse side is very kind of plain. It's basically the same. Oh, I shouldn't drop my cards. Basically the same as the front. But then kind of filtered on the back and zoomed in with the name again there. P4 number 12 of this. Next card is going to be of Kata Diamond. So this is going to be of the dormitory based on Alice in Wonderland, which is Hearts Labial. I forgot that one, so I had to turn it around. <laughs> the Hearts Labial one. So this, oh, cool. So actually this is a solo character and that thing gives you stats of the character, which is interesting. So he's in... Um, What's his name? Kata Diamond in Japanese. I don't know what that one is. Three. I'm not sure. I should really know my kanji. Something year three. Class B. Don't know what these ones are. Probably his birthday or something. But if you know Japanese, then I'm sure you can figure it out. Or you can just read the fandoms online. On to the second packet. I mean, I've kind of said a lot and slowly opened these packets. But let's try and speed things up because you probably don't want to hear me talk about I don't know Disney Twisted Wonderland saying that like a thousand times or maybe you do i don't know if you do then cool i guess let's check this card put that to the side you get another kind of hearts label guy trey clover here 
very cool looking guy. Remember these guys, by the way, Trey, Kater, they have the little kind of icon or symbol of the suit, card suit on their face. So he's got the club suit there and then hearts of blue in the background. And this is his kind of info there. He's in class E. The first SD card. So this is of Jade Leach. I was right. One of them is Jade. So this has the Octavanel kind of octopus theme there, plus the dorm logo up top there. The SD cards, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the SD designs. I think they, I mentioned it before, but they remind me too much of Final Fantasy Theatre Rhythm. I think it was that, to be honest, where, I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy that particular SD look. It's okay. I totally see why people like it, but it's not really for me. Here we've got kind of the full portrait art of uh, Igni Hyde and his brother Ortho, I think it was, right? Got a very kind of skeleton looking android body there. There's both of them in one card. And then the reverse side, like so, P414, his logo up there of Igni Hyde. So Igni Hyde is the actual group thing because his name is actually, um, gosh, what was his name again? Idia, that was it. And then we've got another SD card. So this is of a Malaeus Draconia of Diasomnia. Diasomnia. And there's the reverse side, the checkbook list there. So curious to know what other solo characters we get. My favorite solo character design wise, mm, kind of changes a little bit actually. I do like Malaeus, he's very cool. Got a double already, um, and another double already. Malaeus is pretty cool, but I still lean towards Leona. I really like Leona's design, it's such a cool design. But I also really like, um, oh gosh, what's his name again? Uh, Carlin, right? That guy is cool. And then you got Rook Hunt here. Actually, I didn't mention this in collection one, two, and three. So his name is Rook in Katakana. But in English, I'm still not sure. There's a chance that his name might not be Rook in English and it might actually be Luke. Who knows? Because, yeah, Rook, I think. Oh, I've got it here, right? Uh, what number is this guy? He is number P411. So P411, Luke. Yeah, so it could be his name is actually Luke and not Rook. Who knows? But that's him there. Very nice looking waistcoat there. And then the reverse side for his information there. So he's of the Pomfior dormitory. So it's Pomfior or Pomfior or Pomfior. I'm going to say it's Pomfior. That's probably the correct way, but I just, Pomfior is easier to say. Eventually, if I know the actual correct way to say it, I'll use the correct way. But for now, Pomfior it is. Got another guy, one of Trey Clover, which you've seen before. So we'll skip ahead past him. On to the next pack then. Oh, I think that's Leona. That's got to be Leona, right? Ah, uh, it's not Leona. Close, but no cigar. It's not Leona. It's the guy, Jack Howell, who is buddies with Leona. I think they're cousins. I can't remember. Could be wrong. Really nice gold background with this dude. Shiny. Super shiny. He's part of the Savannah Claw group. No waistcoat for this guy. Ah, okay. Got a scar kind of little band thing wrap around his uh, bicep. Information for him. Savannah Claw logo up top there. Very shiny gold card there. Got an SD card of Floyd Leach, Jade's twin. Other side here. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the SD cards, if I'm honest. I would prefer... Uh, I don't know, because I think one of them, Collection 2, didn't have SD cards. It had the kind of like anime screenshot background cards, right? Oh, this is cool. This is nice. This group is pretty cool looking. Diasomnia group with Malaeus and... Riku, not Riku, and I forgot her name. Lilia, Lilian, I forgot. I forgot their names, but they are very cool looking. I love the way they look. Their green waistcoats really make me want some bubblegum, though. Apple bubblegum, specifically. But cool looking group shot there. Oh, we've got it. Lilia, I was right. Lilia Van Rouge in SD form, which actually this looks good. For Lilia, this looks good. This is a nice card. I love her outfit. I love the trousers. This is cute, actually. Maybe I'm changing my mind a little bit. That's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. That one's quite cute. Next pack then. Is that going to be Leona? No, it's not Leona. It's another one of Savannah Claw though. And this one is of Rugi Bucci, whose name I got wrong forever last time. So it wasn't a B. It's an R there. Rugi or Ruggi Bucci. So he's got the kind of... So the waistcoats, I guess, are all kind of themed around their particular dormitory but what a shiny gold card. Again, the gold ones really do pop. They definitely, it, the lights is reflecting my eyes. But cool. He's kind of cool looking, I suppose. Not my favorite character design, but he's all right. Here we've got Carlin, which is very cool. Okay, yeah, this is slightly growing on me now. Slightly. I love his design. I love his kind of head wrap turban. 
just love it. Really cool looking design. Really cool. So looking forward to seeing his actual full illustration card in here soon. Uh, here we've got the next one is going to be Ru Riddle Roseheart. Very cool looking character with the nice kind of bow tie use. So it's an actual tie, but wrapped as a bow tie. That's pretty cool. I mean, I like it. Yeah, yeah it's cool. I like it. I love the blood or wine red waistcoat. Very cool looking. On the back, you've got Riddle Roseheart's information there as well. Then we have Silver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so not Riku. So not Riku is actually called Silver with the apple green waistcoat again. Looking very, very serious. Mm, those guys need to kind of chill out a bit, I think. Oh, this is cool. I like this guy. Veal is such a cool character design. I love his hair with the fading into purple. It's very neat. I love the purple waistcoat as well. It's a very cool looking design of a character for sure. This is a reverse of uh, Veal. Then we've got SD1 of Jamil Viper. Jamil is another one that I really like as a character. So it's okay in the SD card, but yeah, if I get to see the real version or the actual solo shot, that's going to be cool. Ace Trapola, as I mentioned, he's got uh, the sign there, the suit on his eye there. Very cool. Oh, he's giving a heart. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. Look! <laughs> and then here's the reverse side of Ace Trapola. Then we've got Mr. Serious here with Sebek Zigvolt. Sebek Zigvolt. And then another pack. I don't know. I don't know why I like saying Sebek's names like that. Name like that because I don't know. I just like it. He just seems so serious. Then next one of Hearts Labu is going to be Kata Diamond. We did get Kata Diamond, didn't we? I'm sure we did. I feel like I'm just forgetting already. Pretty sure we did. Pretty sure we did. We did see Floyd in SD form already, so we'll pass through Floyd very quickly. On to the next pack. You know, when you guys do this on camera, boy, is it a mess. Packs just go everywhere. I'm just throwing them left, right, here, there, everywhere. All right. It's my boys. It's my boy, Carlin. Carlin or Camille? I forgot his name. So much for being my boy. And Jamil. Man, that is a dope hoodie. I need me one of those hoodies. I love how he's wearing a hoodie and like the blazer on top, which I did have a conversation recently about having blazers and hoodies, such a millennial look, but having this look, but he's got his waistcoat. Everyone else pretty much has a more formal look, but yeah, this pair looks super cool. This guy is so cool. Look how stylish he looks. Like, oh man, this, this guy is cool. This guy is cool. I mean, yeah, Jimmy, both are very cool. So cool. Remember they are part of the, uh, Scarabia, Scarabia. Again, I'm not sure how the real pronunciation of this particular one is going to be. I reckon well, Scarabia sounds nicer to me, but it could well be Scarabia uh, to link Scarab and uh, Arabia together, I suppose. Then we've got another one of that, which you've seen. But yeah, man, that those two are so, so stylish. Why are they so stylish? Why is everyone so stylish in this? Okay, so we've got Epel Felmia of Pomphia, Pomphia. I love the purple background. I do love the purple background. Let's bring out Veal as well, just because the purple is beautiful. I love that purple. Please tell me you love that purple as well. There is a reverse side of, um, what's his name? Epel. Got SD one of Edia. Yeah, I'm not really be kind of that SD card there. Let's go into the next pack. Come on, give me a solo of Jamil. Please. Please. Uh, we haven't seen Deuce Spade before. And again, he's got the eye of the suit on the eye there. Love his red waistcoat again. He's looking very nice. Four more. Reverse side here. Then we've got Azul in SD form. This is the reverse of Azul. Put those there. I think we're coming close to the end at this stage now. Getting very, very close. Then we've got another Rook, Rook, Luke. God knows what his name is going to be in the end, Ortho and SD, but we still haven't got solo ones of those two. Those two being Ortho and Edia. So let's see if we get that in the next pack. We're almost down to the end, so I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I was losing hope for Leona, but we have Leona. Yes, my main man, Leona. Shiny. Look, my, like, this is so shiny. <laughs> the gold just... Gosh, cover your eyes, people. Get some sunglasses because this is bling bling. For Leona and his crew. So Leona King Scholar looking fly. Yeah. 
I'm going to stay silent for a bit and just admire Leona. That's long enough. This Leona is looking fly. Love Leona's hairstyle. Very, very cool. We've got another Kalim Al Asim in SD form. No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is a double, actually, of that one. Three packs left. Come on. I want a solo of, of that guy. Come on. Angie Mill, please. Oh, we've got Edia. Edia. Wait a minute. We've seen this already. No. Please tell me there's a full set in this box because I don't want to go finding the missing cards. That's going to suck. I hate doing that. I'd rather just have duplicates and hand those out to people. Uh, let's just see what happens. So we've got Jack Howe again. And then we've got Jamil again in SD. Last pack. Wow. We actually didn't make a full set. I need to double check this afterwards. Let me check the checklist actually. I didn't make a full set. You're telling me these two don't come in solo? And neither does Edia? That would be so lame. So we've got them two again. And then we've got two of Leona. I'm happy. I'm always happy to get a second one of Leona. Hold on. Hold on. So that's the last packet. Hold on. I'm so, I'm so concerned now. So we've got 26 cards. Now, what are we looking for again? What was his name again? Kalim and Jamil. So that's... Hold on. We've got um, 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 Riddle Rose Heart. Uh, Ace, which we've got, Deuce, which we've got, Trey, I think we've got, and then Keita, we did have, Leona, we got, Jack, we got, uh, who else is this, uh, Ruggy, we got, and, go, 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 go. who's this? Goody, goody, I actually don't know who this one is. Boodle, boodle, boodle. I don't know, I don't know who that one is. Eperu, we got, Rook, we got, Octabanel, we got, oh, so, now this is going into group one, so it looks like, no, there wasn't. Ah, that's going to be very nice. Scarabia, Scarabia, yeah, okay. And Igni Hyde, and then we got the Asomnia, and then SD. So, okay, so just kind of reading Japanese with me there. We didn't actually have these two in solo, which I'm kind of relieved in a way that it means that I didn't miss anything. But come on, why are these two not in solo? That's weird. That's a bit unfair. These guys definitely deserve to be in solo. Ah, oh, I'm a bit disappointed there. I really wanted to see these two in solo. But it's okay. They still look fantastic in their red card or duet card, if you like. Love the border, the background of that ribbon going through. Still, would have been cool to have them as solo in their full illustration, not just as SD form. But that's cool nonetheless. Let's get on to collection five. I'll see you in that video.